Hi kindergartners, welcome to our last week of kindergarten lessons. Can you believe it? You guys have been doing such an amazing job with all that you're doing at home. I am so super proud of you. It was so fun to see so many of you last Friday and surprise you a little bit. So I'm super glad that I got to see all of your smiling faces. So this week, I thought it would be kind of fun for us to read some books to get us ready for summer. So the first book I have for you this week is called Here Comes Summer, and it's by Peter Maloney and Felicia Zakakis. This book is kind of interesting because if you haven't seen one of these kinds of books yet, this is actually a, a little chapter book. So it has a table of contents right here. And as your reading muscles get stronger and stronger, you'll be reading books like this too that have chapters in them. A chapter is just like a part of the book and it has its own little title. So like this chapter is called chapter one, end of the year. It was June, school was ending soon. Mrs. Robinson asked the children what they were going to do for their summer vacations. I'm going to visit my grandparents for the summer, said Felicia. I'm going to the beach, said Cliff. I'm going to a lake, said Toby. And I'm going to the moon, shouted Russ DeLuca. Everybody laughed except for Peter. Peter didn't want summer to come. Chapter 2, Peter Takes a Trip Peter and Felicia were walking home from school. I wish school wouldn't end, said Peter. But you had lots of fun last summer, said Felicia. That was before school started, said Peter. Before I met you and Toby and Rich and Lou and Patty and Cliff and... Suddenly, someone stuck out his foot from behind a tree. Peter fell. Felicia gasped. Rustaluka laughed. And don't forget me, he said. It's not very kind. Felicia helped Peter up. I'm going to miss everybody this summer, said Peter, except maybe Russ DeLuca. Chapter 3, Class Cleanup. The next day, the class began its year-end cleanup. We've got a lot of things to throw out or take home, said Mrs. Robinson. The children went through their desks. They found some interesting things. Toby found a picture of a pumpkin. I drew this in October, she said. Rich held up a drawing of a turkey. I did this in November, he said. I got these in February, said Felicia, holding up a handful of Valentine's car Day cards. Rusta Luca held up a piece of bubble gum. I chewed this back in April, he said. Ooh, yuck. Look what I found, said Peter. It was a story about Peter's vacation last summer. Wow, said Mrs. Robinson. You did that last September, almost a whole year ago. There were drawings of Peter in the pool, in the park, and at the zoo. It looks like you had a lot of fun last summer, said Mrs. Robinson. I guess I did, said Peter. Chapter four, the last day. The next day was the last day of school. Who hasn't told us their summer plans yet? Asked Mrs. Robinson. Rich, Patty, Peter, and Felicia all raised their hands. I'm going to camp to learn the violin, said Rich. I'm going to take swimming lessons, said Patty. And I'm doing exactly what I did last summer, said Peter. And I'm going to spend my vacation playing with Peter, said Felicia. He really knows how to make summer fun. But I thought you, you were going to spend the summer at your grandparents' house, said Peter. I was, said Felicia, until I talked them into visiting me instead. Chapter 5, School's Out. The bell was about to ring. The school year was about to end. Everybody was laughing and smiling, except for Rusta Luca. 
Ross looked sad. What's wrong, Russell? asked Mrs. Robinson. I'm going to miss everybody, said Russ. Mrs. Robinson gave Russ a pat on the back. Don't worry, everybody's going to miss you too, said Mrs. Robinson. Well, almost everybody, laughed Peter and Felicia. All right, friends, so I have a little bit of a surprise for you. Not a surprise like last Friday, but this surprise is that I am going to be reading the rest of our books this week somewhere different than at my house. So I'm going to give you a little clue. In the place that I am reading this, the, the rest of the books for the week is a place where you have lots of fun and memories and we work together a lot there too. I wonder if you can take a guess at where I'm going to be tomorrow when I read the story. So it's going to be tomorrow that I'm gonna read the story there and for the rest of the week. So you'll have to come back tomorrow to find out. Have a great Monday and I will see you tomorrow for our last Tuesday of lessons. Bye friends.